Where's the do you remember that Star Search bit he used to do? The scaffolding in the bit was always the same, but I'd never seen him do it the same twice. And he would uh -huh. just make up these crazy Star Search intros. <laughs> oh, Star Search. Uh, uh, Star Search. Uh, yeah. This next band's been kicking around in Miami area for the last 15 years. Give it up for overnight sensation, he'd say. And like, <laughs> like, he would do that always. Like, he had a million of them. And I'd seen him do the bit a bunch of times. Never the same. The lyric, uh, yeah. the scaffolding was saying the lyrics always change. The first thing I did, I did the show International Star Search. You know the show Star Search right, right. with Ed McMahon? Right, right. He had this one, International Star Search. So I went on that, and I was from Canada, you know? I, I represented Canada. Yeah, sure. And then I was on against a dude from Africa right. and another dude from uh, uh, Australia. Right. And uh, man, I sucked. I was horrible, you know? And the dude, they were like super international, you know? They were like, the guy from Africa had like a whole tribal thing, like a robe. Dashiki, the whole bit. Yeah, yeah okay. and a, he had a hat. Right. And uh, same with the guy from Australia, he had like a safari thing and a hat. And I didn't have a hat. And also. <laughs> were, were you supposed to do material about your country? <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to do it about Canada. I didn't realize until I got there. And my jokes all sucked, you know? And. Uh, Oh my God, everybody, uh, nobody laughed, and not even Ed McMahon, he didn't even laugh. Yeah, and Ed, Ed laughs at anything. I know, that's the guy's job. Well, you know, we, we called Ed, and Ed yeah. was kind enough to send us. We have oh, you tent. got that thing? Oh, we have, no, we no have I it. don't want to see that. No, here, take a look. No, no, no here. I hate that, No, Jay. look, it's good. Take a look. Here you are. A USA welcome to Norm Ed. McDonald. I'm feeling great. Uh, I finally quit smoking, you know? So I'm feeling pretty good about Ed. I, uh, I smoked ever since I was a kid, so it was kind of tough for me, you know? I remember once I was eight years old, a little kid, behind my garage, sneaking a cigarette back there, and my dad caught me. He hauled me in, I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? What he did is he pulled out a big cigar, must have been half the size of my arm, this giant cigar. Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it, all the way through, right to the end. That's when I started smoking cigars real heavy. But I gotta get in shape, you know. I'm not, I watch a lot of sports, you know. I love watching sports on the TV, you know. The only sports I don't like is when they try to combine two sports. You ever see those, you know? And the sports don't even go together, you know? Like the guy will run a hundred yard dash and then fish. <laughs> My favorite shows are the game shows, you know. I like the game shows a lot, you know. So there's one game show the other week, the dating game. You ever see that? Man. That's a cheap show there. The prize on that show. Another contestant. <laughs> Last week they had a guy, I was like a crazy guy, loony bin, psycho, wing nut kind of guy, you know? And then they made the girls ask those questions, you know, laced with sexual innuendo. You know, the girl go, bachelor number two, if I were a popsicle, what would you do to me? <laughs> the guy goes, well, if you're a popsicle, huh? Well, first of all, I guess I'd uh, take your wrapper off. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then I'd grab a hold of your sticks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then I'd press you against the counter till you're broken too. <laughs> Put half of you in the freezer till later. <laughs> if you know what I mean. That was nuts. Oh man, it was a violent world, you know. I, tried, I went to buy a dog. This guy tried to sell me this, the most killing dog in the world, a big pit bull. $600 pit bull. You know? And I don't want to buy that, you know? 600 bucks. Holy cow. You know, guy says, this dog will protect your valuables. You know, I don't even have any of that valuable, you know? I mean, I buy the pit bull. That would be the most valuable thing I own right there. <laughs> okay, you guys have been great. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. I got three quarters of a star. Oh. <laughs> there was four, got four, I figured out how it happened. There was four judges. Three of them must give me one, and one dirty bastard gave me zero. <laughs> and I think it was that Robin Leach son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of those, those self-hating Canadians. <laughs> now tell us about the Norm Show. You look like you're having fun. Oh, yeah, the Norm Show, yeah, that's on there. Uh...